Anthony, Sorry, Mike, thanks for joining us on Player Diary. Anthony, your second time after the first time on here with your brother. You hoping to get a bit less grief this time? <laughs> Hopefully, but it's brownie, so I know I'm going to get a lot of stick. No, it's not me, mate. I won't do that to you. <laughs> Back three look after each other. Don't, <laughs> don't lie, mate. Tell me about it. Yeah, you're back down to earth now after that try and, and winning Cardiff. What was that like for you? <coughs> yeah, that. no, he's not back down to earth. <laughs> he still keeps talking no, about no. it. No, it was, you know, it was, um, it was a great team win, and obviously we're looking to you know back it up this week because you know having won last week it doesn't mean anything unless we go um, and win at Twickenham this weekend. Nice to lay one on for him now. You said I think you owed him one, is that right? Yeah, I did unfortunately owe him um, a try, so now we're even. <laughs> so now he can set me up, I think. <laughs> how, how special was it to win in Cardiff? Yeah, it was very special. I think there was a bit of added extra spice after two years ago when I was one of the guys that unfortunately had to experience that. So it was good to um, go out there, play for those guys, um, put put something right, um, get the win. But also, as a team, start, start the Six Nations in the right way. Um, and now we're looking to push on. What happened in the tunnel? Talk us through that. What happened there? They wanted us to go outside and experience their light show pre-game, um, and I'm not too into that sort of thing. I was just there to do a job, play rugby, just like the other lads, and it was a bit cold, and I'm, I'm not very good with cold. So not that's that's why we're still out here. Yeah. <laughs> where, where were you at this point? You I hiding at the back. I was at the back. I was at the back, letting Brownie lose his head. I was just chilling. No, I was very calm actually. <laughs> okay. Well, Thank you. For once. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so you see chatting quite a lot today in training. What were you talking about? Was it was it rugby? Yeah, definitely. We're no. always talking about <laughs> Tone was talking about how he wanted to get in his bed and relax <laughs> most of the time. What have you learned though in still seriousness from Mike Brown around the England camp? Oh a lot to be honest with you. Um all jokes aside, you know, he's helped me massively. Um, you know, um, in terms of you know the positioning, um, obviously playing fullback at the club and coming in here and playing on the wing, it's, it's great to be able to get the, you know the, the knowledge from from Brownie, who's obviously experienced and, and been there and done it. So um, you know having him behind me when I'm on the wing is great. What's Anthony offered? Thanks, what's Anthony right? offered to the team? Your turn now. What's Anthony offered? What's he brought to the group? Obviously his enthusiasm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? No, on, on the whole, his enthusiasm you know breeds and it goes into other people, and um, it's great to play with someone as electric as him. And um, I think we're working well together at the moment, so hopefully we can continue that. What will you do with your afternoon off now this afternoon? Uh, I'll probably head to the spa and you know try and recover and sleep a bit <laughs> yeah and some cookies, cookies. too <laughs> you might what you tend to do when you've got an afternoon off here at penny hill i think it'll be in the spa uh, a bit of recovery i'm um, getting a bit older now so i need to need to recover why are you looking at him <laughs> <laughs> I what he's gonna say. <laughs> like in the spa massage and uh we've got team out tonight which we look forward to big feed and yeah that's about it who do you try and look to sit next on the team nights out who do you try and stick with not Brooksy. Yeah, he? not Brooksy. <laughs> Brooksy and Billy V smash it. So yeah. shared platters, is it? Is that the way yeah, to go? Exactly. So you don't want to be sitting either, near yeah. either of those two. No. Avoid them at all costs. Yeah. Luther, thanks for joining us on the player diary at the captain's run in front of the new tunnel here at Twickenham. A bit more dramatic engines. What are your thoughts on it? Yeah, it's looking fantastic. Obviously, great to be back here at home. It's looking great. Sorry. <laughs> Cheers, Johnny, mate. Obviously, Johnny May's on fire. Um, no, obviously, home of rugby. Uh, really excited about tomorrow and just getting stuck into the game now. Uh, listening to the crowd behind us, it's you know quite a spectacle and quite an honour to, to step out here at Twickenham. Yeah, what's going through your mind when you're standing just behind those doors there, ready to go out? What are you thinking about? Yeah, well, all the detail you've done during the week to build up uh, is just running through your mind, just final little pointers and just trying to stay re as relaxed as possible, as hard as that may sound. <laughs> How important is it to run through the last things before the game? Yeah, it's very important. It's also very important to you know get back to Twickenham. Um, you know, it's been a while since since I've personally played here, so it's good to um, to get back down here, get a feel for it. You know, try and get an idea of what it's going to feel like tomorrow when it's packed and you know the whole nation's um, screaming and shouting and singing etc so it's, it's hugely important. What are your memories of the Six Nations last year of course? I assume they're good runs, debut in Paris, tries here at Twickenham? Yeah it's all good memories, all good memories, all good memories here obviously scored my first try in the Six Nations at Twickenham um, against Wales which was obviously quite a special moment for me um, but what really tipped it for me was it was the Ireland game and listening to the crowd. Um, that was one of those games where you literally could not hear your teammates. You call calling moves, and you know you just literally couldn't hear for the roar of the crowd. It was, you know, it was a huge moment for me, and to be part of that was was pretty special. So hopefully it'll be more of the same um, tomorrow, and we can really rip into them. What do you do this afternoon to make sure you get right? What do you do to get right mentally and physically? Yeah, it's just now it's just about relaxing. All the details done. So now it'll just be about relaxing. You know, getting the nutrition, hydration, all that preparation right. A um, bit of downtime, I might watch a bit of rugby tomorrow, a bit of family come down and see you the night before the game. Um, and it's just about you know a bit of personal space and, and chill out and ready to go tomorrow. Team meal last night, just finally. Um, I was told yesterday by Mike Brown 
and uh, Anthony Watson that don't sit next to that guy. And Kieran Roots because he eats a lot of food. Who did you sit next to and what was it like? Well, I've actually roomed with him, so he's, he's a good man, Brooksy. Uh, he's 120 kg plus, so you know, he needs to keep fueled up. Um, I think he had about five platefuls of lamb chops, so you know, it's whatever takes his, fa takes his fancy. If he's wanting to eat that, that fuels him up then, so be it. He's going to be good to go and he for tomorrow. <laughs> good to go, he's going to be heavy. <laughs>